In today's lesson, we will be finding the square root of 62. In order to find the square root of 62, let's first review an important math concept. To find the square root of 62, we can use the concept of the square root of a times the square root of b breaks up into the square root of a times the square root of b, meaning if you have two numbers that are multiplied inside of a square root, you can then separate them out into individual square roots multiplied by each other. So if we do this with 62, we can first think about the factors that make up 62, which are 31 and 2. So the square root of 62 then be the same as the square root of 31 times 2. Now we can break that up into the square root of 31 times the square root of 2. Unfortunately, neither 31 nor 2 is a perfect square, so this would be our final answer. And this doesn't give us a great solution, so we need to come up with a better estimation. So we can estimate the square root of 62 to the nearest whole number by doing the following. First, we can think about what perfect squares are near 62. A perfect square that's near 62 would be 7 squared, which gives us 49, and also 8 squared, which gives us 64. Now we can see the square root of 49 will be less than the square root of 62, which will be in turn less than the square root of 64. Now we know 7 squared gives us 49, so the square root of 49 would be 7, and the square root of 64 would be 8. Therefore, the square root of 62 is between 7 and 8. In order to find out which whole number it is closer to, we can use the difference between 62 and 49 which we can now see is 13, and also the difference between 64 and 62, which gives us 2. Because 62 is closer to 64, the square root of 62 will be closer to 8. So now we can estimate the square root of, 64, of 62 as approximately 8.